Game development is hard. But what if you could build a real game just by typing text? That's exactly what Zilla AI does. I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. I'll show you how to create a fully playable 3D off-road racing simulation, completely from scratch and without writing a single line of code. By the end, you'll see how AI can take your idea and turn it into a working game world. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Alright, let's dive in and start building. Guys, look at this simulation I made. I'm going to show you the gameplay first, and then explain how I built it step by step. As you can see, it's a first-person shooter, where a bright purple beam lets me destroy these spider-like monsters. There's a whole city around us, with different types of buildings, suburbs, and streets full of details. Even in the suburbs, there are more spiders to hunt. I can sprint using shift, jump with space, and move freely through the city. There are also non-player characters walking around. They move randomly using their own little AI systems, which makes the city feel alive. You can see a health bar too, and each time I shoot, I can eliminate more spider monsters. Alright, let's see how I made all this happen. First, I created a small, cozy 3D city block with narrow streets and first-person navigation. Then I added ambient city sounds like cars, footsteps, the hum of a busy town, and it worked perfectly. Next, the AI assistant named Zilla began to think out loud about the process. It explained every step it was taking, showing progress in real time. At first it created a cozy city block with first-person exploration, but there was one big problem – the player kept falling through the ground. So, my friends, I asked the platform to fix it. It started calculating the size of the map, adjusting the ground area, and trying again. Sometimes it failed, but it always corrected itself. I told it to make the ground 20 times larger and add more rows and intersections so players could explore a bigger city. Even then, the player still fell through the floor, so I asked for collision detection, a standard step in 3D games. Finally, Zilla added a solid physics layer, fixed the collisions, and proudly showed the new result. But I tested it and realized something was wrong. The player still kept falling through the floor. This time, the tool worked faster. Eventually, the player stopped falling through the ground. Nice job! But then all the textures disappeared. No walls, no floors, nothing. I asked Zilla to restore the original textures. It took a while and a few failed attempts, but finally all surface details were restored. When I tested the game, I could see the building textures again, but now the player was stuck on a rooftop. Only two buildings had textures, and the streets looked flat and dull. So I asked the platform to add realistic road textures and make the city look more natural. It did, and the result was way better. Next, I wanted the player to be able to jump with the spacebar. Zilla added that function, fixed a few issues, and I asked for more building variety. Ten new texture variations appeared, and my city suddenly looked vibrant and full of life. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks! There were still empty spots between the buildings, so I asked Zilla to cover them with grass and bushes. I even sent a grass texture myself, which it used successfully after one failed import. The result looked pretty cool. Then came the spiders. I asked for giant spiders roaming the city, twice as many as the cars. They were given disappearing animations when hit, and the AI handled it smoothly. I told the tool to resize the bushes, remove any growing on roads, and replace some corners with trees. That didn't go so well, the trees looked terrible. So I asked to remove them. Then to make the sky feel more alive, I asked to add a cloud that slowly glides across it. Jumping still worked inconsistently, so Zilla fixed that perfectly. I decided it was time to arm the player, a laser gun shooting bright purple beams. When those beams hit spiders, they exploded in a fiery animation with sparks and smoke. Absolutely amazing! Folks, after that I asked for NPC humanoids, 30 of them, walking randomly through the city. Each had simple walk animations and said random funny lines every 10 seconds. 
It made the whole world feel alive. Next, I wanted a visible health bar in the bottom left corner of the screen. Zilla added it, but suddenly the player couldn't move anymore. After debugging, it fixed the controls again. Perfect. Finally, I asked the platform to add a simple goal – to destroy all the spiders. At the start screen, that message appears, and once you press a key, the game begins. And that's how we ended up with this final version – a full 3D city shooter made with AI assistance. You can hide the chat, enjoy the view, and just play. I think the result turned out incredible, and I hope you enjoyed this little journey behind the scenes. Ok, my friends, let's wrap it up. I've got to say, I am genuinely impressed by how easy it is to make a 3D game with Zilla AI. We refined the physics, set up controls, and even made the speed boosters work, all through simple text prompts. Whether you're a game designer, a hobbyist, or just curious, this platform makes creation feel like magic. You describe your world, and it brings it to life. And here's a little giveaway for you. Generate your own simulation with this tool and share your user ID in the comments of this video. Zilla will pick three lucky winners and send them a $50 gift card for Steam, App Store or Google Play Store. What kind of game would you create first? If you're excited to try it out or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, until next time.